Hello everyone, this is Jackie and this is my video response slash entry to Brittany's challenge. And please check out her channel for the details and I will provide the link below. Um, she did not specify what she wanted anyone to alter other than it just had to be something unique. And she had some other requirements so um, as I mentioned check out her channel for the details. Um, pretty straightforward, very easy, nothing super difficult. Um, layers was one thing and she definitely had a requirement as far as the amount of lace um, that she wanted. I think it was like three different laces, the layering and then just a unique item and I'm not sure if there was any any other requirements. But I was sitting on my bed trying to figure out okay well what what was I going to alter and from where I sit in my room I can see into the living room and on top of one of the dog crates I'd had this box, this iPad mini box. And it's been sitting there for a good year just collecting dust. And I didn't want to throw it away because I just knew that I was going to use it for something. And so I'm kind of glad um, here recently I was actually thinking I need to go ahead and throw some stuff away. And I have actually been cleaning out my craft room. But good thing I held on to this. So I knew right away I wanted to use this. And at the same time that I'd seen her video, I was also inspired, number one, just to use stuff from my stash. So this was the perfect opportunity for that but also to use this paper and I think it's DCWV maybe it's that fabric stuff and I've I've had that for a few months and Christina um, Crafty Paws had done a project here recently using that paper and so I was inspired to to dig that out of my stash and then my Prima doll stamp you know I wanted that thing so badly and I think I've only used it once maybe twice so I thought, okay, well, I'm definitely pulling that out too because I knew right away when I was going to use the box that I was going to make it a shadow box and the Prima stamp I was just hoping would fit, and it did. Um, maybe could have stood to use a little bit more height, but I think, it, you know, it works. For me, it works. And then I'd also seen a video where Song was showing off some of the some of what she was including in her giveaway, and I saw that chandelier, and I'm thinking, well... You know, I didn't see that at the Michaels where I shop, and I didn't see it at the Michaels where I work. But when I went to work Saturday, I just happened to go up one of the random aisles and saw this wooden stuff. And, you know, of course, there was a shopping trip after my shift was over. So I picked up the little chair and the chandelier and some other little wooden embellishments that I'll probably do a separate video on. Because I want to keep this as short as possible. And so, yeah, you know. Um, I'm really pleased with how it came out and I just love the fact that I was able to use a lot of stuff that was gifted to me, stuff that was in my stash, and then I got to recycle. So that was exciting because I love to recycle. So the first thing I did was gesso it, of course. It took a couple coats because of the, um, you know, the coating on the packaging. But I used this Craftsmart uh, pink chiffon and it's a satin finish. And I don't like satin fish finish. I like how it looks, but it's kind of hard to work with because there were some spots that I'll actually have to touch up because it peeled away. And I don't know if I need to seal it and maybe that would take care of the problem. I don't know. But anyway, you know, I'll have to do some touch-ups here and there. But for the most part, I didn't mess it up too badly. And I painted the inside and the outside. I only papered the back of the box. And then I added these doilies. I had this doily cut in half just sitting um, in a drawer. And I thought, well, you know what, I'm going to use it. I needed layers anyway, so I used one up there and one down here. And then I had one of these little rosettes left over from Amy, who had sent me these um, some time ago. And so I just cut it up in half. It, it kind of pained me to do it because it was such a pretty rosette. But I, again, needed my layers, so I put one there and one down here. And I just stamped the stamp onto some regular white cardstock, and I colored in her skin um, just with a colored pencil and uh, amazingly I couldn't find my baby oil to blend it so it's not really blended but you know I don't think it came out too bad and then I just paper pieced her dress onto some pink cardstock and then just a little bit darker pink for her bow and for her little shoes and then I stickled them and for her little um, hat I did initially put the crown on her went in and cut it off later but I did put the crown but I just didn't like how it I don't know looked so I'd accidentally cut a little bit more of the rosette trim that I needed and it's at the bottom I'll show you here in a second 
and I had this little guy just sitting off to the side and I'm like well what can I do with that so I just stuck it up on top of her head and I thought well you know would that make a good little hat for her and I don't know if you can see but there it has a little bit of that mesh you know that comes with the rosette and it kind of looks like a little those little fascinator hats are to me anyway I don't know and so that little rosette serves as a, hat, as a hat and then there's a little pearl in the center this chandelier I used a silver paint marker and for the little gems I used a pink gel pen and a white gel pen and I was hoping that it would look like little crystals I don't know if I pulled it off but I used stickles I used a pink glitter glue for the pink and then stickles for the the gems the little dangles and then the little chair I recycled some packaging and, and kind of with the same idea for my heart that I altered recently I used a smaller oval covered with some felt some scrap felt and then a larger oval to kind of adhere it to the back of the actual chair and then this thing I just made myself a little template and cut some again just some packaging glued the felt onto that and then adhered that to the little chair and then this trim here this little lace trim and it already comes with the beads and it's this stuff that I'd gotten from Joann's and it's really light pink I know it's not picking it up on camera but it's a light pink trim and then the white beading in the center uh, but what I did is I cut the top off because I only wanted some trim at the bottom and then this is just a little uh, flower that I cut off of here I've done that before because I wanted a small doily and you know didn't have anything small enough so I just cut off one of those little flowers from there and then that's um, a little doodad flower from Lily's store and the chair itself I just painted in it white um, craft smart just craft smart white and then I did use some glossy Mod Podge um, I had a very little bit but it was enough to just kind of give the chair a little sheen there because I just imagined that a little chair like that would be a high gloss white as opposed to a matte white I don't know in my head and then this trim oh well I don't have it out but it's a very light pink trim that was gifted to me by Paula if I'm not mistaken and then these little bitty white flat back pearls I'd gotten from Natalia's store and I think it's like my 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 paper passion I think um, but it's just these really tiny flat back pearls so I use that all around it and at the bottom I know you probably can't really see that there's some of that rosette trim from just at the bottom again just for my layering and then I had the heck of a time trying to get something to hang from the top and I don't know I kind of butchered it um, a little bit because my big bite wouldn't reach all the way back there and it was just a disaster so I had to just poke holes literally just poke holes and then I just used some organza ribbon you know to hang and then there's some some of this do I even have it out yes I do um, this trim from Joann's that I went all along the outside of the box and then I also forgot to mention that I used some some bead trim this stuff comes from Hobby Lobby just to edge the inside all along there I don't know if you can see that and so yeah I think it came out pretty cute um, I like it I hope you like it Brittany and and as I mentioned before please go check out her channel um, and join in the fun this is really fun I got to use a lot of my stuff from my stash and recycle and so that was really really great I, I had a lot of fun so thank you so much for watching bye